Sorry I took a little bit of time to post this, but here's the truck toolbox setup. Right, so I'm going to show you how I did the side to anchor all this, give myself more than an inch clearance to help these stowaways slide. And um, so I'm marking each hole, there's three of them down the way. So I mark the center and then one inch and that's where I'm going to drill the hole. So measure one inch out from that hole in the center. All right, now I know exactly where my paddle bit needs to go. All right, one inch out. Okay. All right, so now, shut it off. All right, so first thing I'm gonna drill the hole down through. A little bit out of an angle because the bolts do come up at an angle a little bit. Sure, there. I, I make it pretty close to what the bolts are. All right. Now, most of the time, I don't like to cut the paddle bill bits second, but on this situation, it works a little bit better. I've got to go down to about the blue mark to have for the washer and then bolt, and then they will be sunk so that it's flush mounted, and then I'll cut off the plate. So, I'm gonna basically start slow. Right there to the blue blue mark you know sometimes you have to mark something or put some tape on there to know but that's about what it is okay so do that three times all right two Now, that's done there. We'll go back to the truck. All right. All right, so I bought some stainless steel bolts. I didn't want them to rust, and they're gonna be anchored, all right, in here. And I also have stainless steel washer, which fit really well there, and then a nut, and then I had some lock washer, so I'm gonna use some lock washer so it'll stay tight. All right, so what I did prior, get the bolt off here, obviously. I like to stick this up through here, decent ways. Slide this down, all right? And I'm gonna put all three of them in first, all right? Should have had those off first. All right, so this one goes up in there again. They're pretty tight. Um, I could have made them a little bit loose, more loose, but no need, no need. All right. One more bolt. So you got three major anchors. All right. And then what you do is you tilt, tilt this in kind of. Down, tilt it in, and then I should that one I want too high. Alright, shut it off. Alright, so over here we slip this in there, and as you can see, that comes over here and comes out. All right, and I'm gonna have it turned sideways and then it'll lock in whenever I'm tightening the bolt. All right, so then we have this washer right here. Nice stainless steel, goes right in that hole, just like that. And then I put the lock washer on, all right, and then the nut. And then I'm gonna tighten these somewhat together so that um, they tighten together, not so much and then we'll cut those off once they come up. Obviously, they're going to come up a lot. They were the shortest ones I could find at the store. 
so that's how I ended up doing it. Um, this one, sometimes you gotta reach down in there sometimes. Beat it into submission. All right, and then we got that one. Okay. That one over there with the lock washer. All right. And the nut. Okay. Third. So we got this, we're starting to tighten these up. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. And then we'll cut these off. Make sure it's where it needs to be. Set up. And then get it close to tight and then move it exactly where you want and then snug the three totally tight and obviously this is going to carry a load so I'm going to make sure it's really tight. All right then we got the last one. Make sure the bolt the lags in there and kind of hides on that corner, it's kind of nice because it. got my air wrench but not everybody has that so might as well show what most people can do here so now getting close to all right that's getting tight okay then I'm gonna come over here get this one tight it's right on the inside right there flush so I know it's good and then, uh, perfect on the end so now I'm there Last one. Pull this one tight. This prevents me to have to drill in any holes into the bed, which I think is great because uh, the rip, the actual system, if you weren't going to use the deck underneath, you can just screw it right in and you don't have to worry about putting this little um, edge up here so that you can get it in there. But um, all right, nice and tight. Now you can see that is tight as can be. It's not going anywhere. It shakes the whole truck. All right, so now, once I get it totally where I want it, all right, I wanna make sure those are flush. Okay. Oh, it's tight. This seems to be a little 
more. Just a touch, touch more turns, maybe. Okay, those are tight. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to cut them off. Always wear your glasses, obviously with this. This is a nice tool, I know you guys might not have this. You can cut it off different ways. You could use a Sawzall, a um, little bit too much vibration. That's why I'm using this one. But um, you can do it a lot of different ways if you, if you don't have the tool for it. But uh, this one buzzes it off really well. All right. <laughs> black uh, only reason I did that in case it showed it all it would basically kind of blend with the truck you don't have to do that but I didn't want wood showing uh, probably won't show it all anyway because what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this um, inch and a half little corner on here and then I'm gonna wrap this back as well and then what happens is the stove system one actually this is the system all right, and then I'm gonna put that right there, like so. And then we're also, I'm gonna cut this piece off. All right, so that it won't be this long, obviously. But it'll go right there, and then it will blend right here at this corner. And so then if you look, it looks like part of the system. And you're like, why'd you go through all this trouble? Well, I've told you before, basically with this deck, this, hangs down too far and you can't open up this drawer. And I really wanted those drawers because you get eight feet of a sliding drawer in the back of your truck, along with the six and a half feet of the others. So it's gonna be absolutely awesome for our tool storage. Um, and it will look like part of the truck. Um, this right here comes together. This is how I'm gonna mount this on here. So this will sit on top and I can get to where I can start putting these bolts in and they'll fit in these holes here and I'll show you what I do there. So that's the start of that. Okay, so what I did was take this inch and a half. I was gonna use inch, but it showed a little bit and this is inch and a half, it's perfect for this. So now what I have is inch over here in the front and you can see where I made this so it's like corner all right on the other side so right here you've got this front so it it covers all right and what's going to happen is the piece that is stocked from system one looks like this which is originally going to be on there but it says it's an inch so now it's going to fit perfectly right there and then we've got that and that'll screw on there and it looks kind of like it was meant to be now, I wanted a longer piece, but nobody seems to sell over eight feet, and this was 97 and a half inches, so an eight foot was gonna leave a little bit of reveal on each end. So what I ended up getting is two six foot pieces and cut it, and I seamed it here, which it's such a tight seam, and I used the factory edge that it really, you can't really tell. So it looks pretty good. Um, on the back side here, 
I just cut this piece of metal um, and it's an inch instead of an inch and a half and it's gonna fit right on this end. So I'm gonna pop this in here and then it will make this end cap finished, all right? And <clears throat> what I was doing is I pre-drilled some holes on the top and then just put exterior screws into the wood since I have the wood here. I've not drilled any holes in my cab uh, because I used the this with the J-bolts, which I showed you earlier. So this is kind of the finished look on it. I'll put that on there and then set the toolbox on there. We'll see how it looks once it's totally done. Originally, they wanted me to put this on the base, the, the actual truck bed and drill holes on this side. All right, so what I've done is I put that inch and like inch and a quarter inch piece on the bed wood treated and wrapped it with aluminum and now i've put this on top ran the screws here on top flush mounted those so they won't interfere with the box when it sits on there and on the inside now i'm drilling also into there on the top i used uh, two inch screws so they wouldn't go into the truck bed and here i'm using longer screws because i have three and a half inch, so I'm using two and a half inch, just standard uh, uh, screws, uh, deck screws. And they are exterior, so they won't rust. And then just putting them here on the side as additional hold. None of these will show because the truck box sits right in there, so. Basically, just running them in so that it'll make it more stable. I think I have more than enough already, but I just want to be sure that it's going to be solid. So when I load it up, no problems are going to happen. But it's mainly held by the three J bolts, which are hooked to the truck that I showed you in an earlier part of the video so now we've got totally solid and then we'll run these screws in this track and they'll fit right in these holes and I'll show you how that's done and then I think it'll be perfect we've got it wrapped on both sides I even wrapped this inside aluminum where it's not there and we're ready to go so here's the finished product of my truck Huge amount of storage there for that. Then you go over here, and you got your bed still able to use. We got this waterproof decked. And what it does, open it up. You got six and a half foot of storage on each side, waterproof. So you can put boxes in there. And then I've got 87 inches of stowaway under here on both sides. It's there and here, and that's why I had to shim it up because these two systems are not necessarily compatible, but uh, doing that inch on the bed made me able to clear. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped and I will show another video next that will show the truck fully loaded with all my tools. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions just put, put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks.